I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a competitive brawl league open for anyone that wants to join. I will share the links to their YouTube channel in the description below so you can follow them and help grow the brawl community. Today, I present you with the deck one of my subscribers used in that tournament. This is Jordi's mono black Sheoldred list, and this deck is really, really strong. Sheoldred is a 4 mana 4-5 four that has death touch, and whenever we draw a card, we gain 2 life, and whenever our opponent draws a card, they lose 2 life. Let's go to the deck. Section 1, the combos. With Sheoldred, we can kill our opponent if we make them draw enough cards. A sure kill is peering to the abyss. For 7 mana, it makes our opponent draw 35 to 40 cards. There's also Eldritch Pact that works only when our opponent has cards in the graveyard, but we probably need 7 or 8 cards just in the graveyard to get them. Section 2, Hand Disruption. Just a few spells to pick apart our opponent's best cards and Thought Distortion to battle versus control decks. Section 3, Removal. 10 pieces of 1 for 1 removal spells to keep threats under control. At the top of the tier in Brawl, you always need a removal spell in your starter hand, so this ensures we always start the game with one of them. Section 4, Creatures. We don't rely on our creatures to win the game. Most of these creatures are here to be sacked for value and stall the game long enough until we find our combo pieces. Grey Merchant of Asphodel can be a win con if we have a high enough devotion to black. And Massacre Worm can take down go white strategies. Section 5, Card Draw. Drawing cards with this deck is even sweeter because of the life gain from She Red. Of course, we are running Black Market Freaking Connections and its older brother, Firection Arena. Section 6, Veto Blood Combo. There's another insta win combo in the deck, the Veto Exquisite Blood Combo. Veto has whenever we gain life, our opponent loses that much life, and Exquisite Blood has whenever an opponent loses life, we gain that much life. With these two on the battlefield at the same time, any life we gain or any life an opponent loses starts an infinite loop that kills the opponent. Section 7, Tutors. We are a combo deck, so we need redundancy to make our deck robust enough. Section 9, Walkers. Davriel Soul Broker, I hate this card, but it's in the deck and we play to win. Love, Spider Queen, Amazing Value Place Walker, same as Liliana Dreadhorde General. Section 10, Board Wipes. We can lose to aggro very easily if we don't have a way to blow up the board. These make sure we get to the late game where we want to be. Section 11, Other Spells. Miscellaneous Section with Mana Acceleration Spells, more card draw, more removal, reanimation, tutor effects, very powerful cards here. In Section 12, The Rocks. Most of the efficient mana rocks to develop our early game and get faster than our opponents to our higher mana value spells. So that's the deck, that's the deal, now let's go to the games! What is up everyone? Welcome back one more time, you know the deal, we play Historic Brawl! And today we are using one of the decks from the competitive Historic Brawl League that it's going on in the Brawl Hub in Discord, this is from Jordi and this is Geodred. A super competitive, super strong list. And we are paired up versus Sithis. So Matchmaker realizes that we are playing with power. And we are play to, playing to win. And rightfully sets a date with Sithis. Which, you know, you need removal spells when you play with Sithis. And our deck is pretty proficient at providing us with removal spells. So I'm happy to see... A Thirst, a Shatter, and a Mastery in hand. Hopefully we can get to the Immortal Sun later on. And clearly opponent having second thoughts about playing Sithis, because they know we are waiting with a removal spell. They play a Weaver of Harmony, which is another cool creature. I don't think I'm supposed to use the Baleful Mastery right now. Let's see what we draw. Cabal Stronghold, okay. So we can play us. Swamp, and then what removal spell do we use? We could Soul Shatter, Thirst, Soul Shatter. I guess we could. I guess we could Thirst, wait up with Mastery. I'm not so sure right now. Let's use the Thirst. And then attack them for one. Well, they were obviously not going to block the ghast. Could offer, offer, offer the trade, but they were not going to block. And now, if they play Sithis, I'm obviously going to mastery it. Right now, Stronghold does not tap for more mana. But one more Swamp, and Stronghold is a very nice ramp for us. There's Sithis with a untapped land. 
to protect cities. I'm going to fire off the mastery. Give them a card. They have the, the protection, right? Yeah, they do. Okay, so snake skin veil. Now we can soul shatter the snake skin, the cities. And just like that, we've used all of our removal spells. So this shield at least is very focused on being a control deck, trying to win with the combos, as you saw in the deck tech. Not too many creatures. Well, there's another removal spell. That's quite nice. Because now we can play... We can play the Cold Steel Heart. Get closer to our six mana. We need one more Swamp. Put this on black. Now, first we can obviously offer the trade. Not that it's going to do anything. And then we can grasp it. So we shielded on the battlefield. Every draw from cities is one damage because they gain a life, but they will lose two from shielded. So as I was saying, this is a control deck from the Historic Brawl League. You can check out the league in the um, Brawl Hub of Discord. They have a YouTube page that you should also visit. And everything that you can do to support the format in general is always very appreciated. And in this case, Jordi, I think he took this to the to a later stages. And if I'm not wrong, he lost to a very good Teferi deck that would eventually win the thing. Would be the champion of the tournament. All right, wouldn't naturally Stilvish Mystic. We play Shiordred. We are having trouble hitting our land drops. We'll see. If they can deal with Shieldred here, we are in very bad shape. Well, it looks like Sithis will be back. And here comes the card draw. They are going to get drained, but they are still recovering some life with Sithis. We have Grey Merchant of Asphodel in hand. And there's the swamp. Okay, so Immortal Sun it is. So now we can make exactly four mana with Cabal Stronghold. No, not more. No more, nor less. Here comes the Immortal Sun. These disables, if they draw Calyx, reduces the cost of our spells, give us card draw, so fantastic card. Attack here, see if they want to block. Alright. Opponent going to block. They have something. Alright, safekeeping just to gain the life and not lose the naturalist. It's interesting because you would think that safekeeping is better spent on Sithis. So that makes me think that they might have another protection spell, something like Heroic Intervention. Because they know that we could easily find removal spells for Sithis. I don't know, maybe they think that they can still recast Sithis as many times as they need, but using that just on the Naturalist is not very... Well, I don't know, it's, it's not something that I would do. All right, so they champ with the Mystic, and now I think I want to keep putting things on the battlefield. I don't think that there's a point in which we are going to drain them out with Gary. Yeah, having a 3-5 could be, could be the difference between winning and losing this game. All right, Meticulous Excavation. Return target permanent they control to their owner's hand. So they can keep rebuying their enchantments and playing them again. Mm. Interesting card for them, for sure. So they have a very nice setup here because they can make so much mana with Sanctum Weaver, buy back things, play them for reduction in cost from the Naturalist, draw cards, gain life. I think we are losing this game. And this is through four removal spells with Sithis. That's amazing. 
So resilient. I don't know, Sithis does not drive, uh, draw the same level of salt that other commanders such as Rusko or Goshin Tai, but... Because it's Enchantress, it's supposed to be cool, you're playing your enchantments, you're drawing cards. But sometimes you overlook how powerful these commander can be. But they are draining themselves out, so now they are at 6. Obviously, if we find any of our combo pieces, Spear into the Abyss and the other one, we are taking this game, but now we lose Shiolra to a Borrowed Time. Maybe I was supposed to keep borrowed, uh, Shiolra under the Borrowed Time, because now they can buy back the Borrowed Time with Meticulous Excavation. Yeah, that might be a mistake, a huge mistake, because... Beseju, the Immortal Sun, oh my god. Okay, so it's a... Uh, it's an uphill battle for us here, because they can always rebuy the Borrow time, use it again, and just deal with our things. The only thing that is keeping us in this game is that they are at 6 life, and I don't know if we have Torment of... I don't, I don't think we run Torment... Wow, Peering to the Beast, okay. Does this change anything? How much mana can we make Cabal Stronghold? Can we play both things? It is 7 and 6, 13. How much mana do we have? We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We need 13. Yeah, it's not enough. This is 11. So, we cannot play both things and win the game. So maybe what we do is we just... This makes us lose half their life. So we, we can make them lose half their life, but we cannot kill them. And maybe we're supposed to draw our entire... Well, the first half of our deck and find something. What could we find that we could deal six to them? Invoke this pair wouldn't do it. Hmm... All right, so we are going to be left with four mana, if I'm not wrong, because this is six plus one is seven. We have already played our land, so we're going to go for it. Draw half of our deck, lose half of our life, and then try to find something. Let's see. No, 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 no. Maybe? No, no, no. Maybe? No, we cannot cast this. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Well, we can destroy their entire board, right? Wow, this... This gives us hope. We can deal with their board, because only Shigeki survives, and then we can finish it off from the Shambling Ghast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So, let's give minus one, minus one to Shigeki. Cool. Wow, I can't believe we are surviving this. And now we have to discard this hand size. Oh my god. Oh, we're running out of time. How many cards? 33? Oh, I don't know how to do this. Let's... One, two, there... This, 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 this. Oh no! I'm I'm supposed to look at the, at the cards. This, this... And this... Um, oh my god, what do we need? Come on, Arena, come on. These. These. Seven more. These. No, ten more. Oh no! Where are more cards? More cards! These. Uh, these. Jesus, we are almost done. Twenty-nine. Uh, this 30. Oh, this is so hard. There you go. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm picking. I'm just discarding many cards. What are we left here with? Eldritch Pact. I saw. I, I didn't click the Eldritch Pact. That, that's a card that can make us win the game. That's the other combo piece with Shieldred. We have a Swamp. Calyx. So Calyx, they should get... We're going to win this, aren't I? Aren't we? 
Wow! Peer into the abyss, into Midhook Massacre. They buy back that, but now we win because we can make so much mana. I think we have exact, exactly ma exact mana to go for Shieldred plus Eldritch Pact, and with the things that they have in hand, they cannot interact. Yes, yes. All right, uh, one more. This is thirteen, so. This should be lethal. Shieldred, Eldritch Pact, draw many cards, lose many life. Yes! Wow! Wow, that was a cool battle versus Sithis. And now we are paired up versus Turgrid. Sure, sure. We go first. This is nice. Wow, this is that's a very good hand. Mindstone, Thopter, Heartless Act into Carnsilex, into Cruelty of Gex. Interesting hand. So, Turgrid, they're going to make us this card, so it's nice to have redundancy in our spells. So, I think here, maybe we play Thopter and make them kill Thopter if they can. Next turn, we could Mindstone. Alright, so no removal for our Thopter. Could play both mana rocks here. Could go Mindstone. Missing lands. That's not very good. But at least we're hitting these rocks. So we are already at 5 mana. We could go Cruelty of Gex. And really benefit from all the, all the modes. I think I'm going to keep this Quisit Blood. We can, we can find Vito and combo them. With Vito, right? Current Silex. We can get rid of that. Because Cruelty of Geeks plus Exquisite Blood is. Oh no! Yeah. Now I'm not very happy. Alright, so land is great. Land gets us to Cruelty, She All Dread. Let's go for Mana Efficiency. Well, Mana Efficiency could have also. Play she already hold up Harless Act, but I want to put the geeks, the cruelty of geeks online, obliterator curtains. So it looks like we're going to be working with an empty hand. I don't know if about curtains. And obliterator we could kill, but we might need the removal spell for Zergrid. We might lose the Harless Act here, of course, they know about it. So if they want to make us discard, then discard we will. But then we get the tutor from the Cruelty of Kix. Concealing curtains. And the Vicious Rumors. Alright. Davriel. So we could search for something. We could search for something. Maybe we can... Maybe we can get a combo piece. And do we want to grab? If we get... They have the faint, faint death. So... Any creature we kill, they can recover. So I don't want to get something like... Lil something like Liliana would be good. But it would make us sacrifice our creatures. I don't want that. Maybe Lolth. Or maybe we can threaten the combo so we could make it maybe put maybe put Peer into the Abyss in our hand, threaten the combo, play She Aldred. They could take the Peer from our hand, but then we get She Aldred. And we get the reanimation from the Cruelty of Kicks. I don't know. Is is so maybe they maybe they don't know about the combo. <laughs> Let's put them to the test. This is super, super greedy. So I, I play she old red. If they want to make a sacrifice, we can sacrifice the Ornithopter. And then... If they spend the Concealing Courtyard... The Concealing Curtains to get the combo piece, the Peer to the Beast, then we follow up with a Reanimation with the Cruelty of Geeks and then a Davriel. So 
I don't know. Maybe there was a better card to pick up. For two mana. We will we would have lost the Avril here for sure, otherwise. Thought this is a very good draw. Because revealing eye gives us another card, so I like that. We lost the peer into the abyss. And a Davriel online could be interesting. So we reanimate the Obliterator. Which is a very good threat. Ornithopter in the in the board is really good for us. It gives us fodder for sacrifice. So we thought seize them. Signing Blood, Erect, Feign Death. So as much as I would like to take the Signing Blood, I would also like to take the Feign Death. Because Feign Death, they can jump with their creature and then use it again, make us discard. We'll keep Dark Ritual in hand. We can go here, Davriel. Mi minus two. Could also attack first. Put the pressure with Shieldred. And then follow up with Davriel. I dislike this card a lot, but well, we have to use it because it's in the deck and we will do these things with the offers and the conditions. Make a Manor Guardian into your hand. I don't know what a Manor Guardian is. Conjure a card named Manor Guardian into your hand. Creatures we control plus two plus zero. And whenever you draw a card, Gain life, so that's Shield Red ability again. I'm going to look up Manor Guardian. Yeah, not really good. Not really good, so I guess I have to go with a plus two plus zero here. Wow, this is these are not the, the offers that we are used to seeing on the other side of the board. And then conditions sack to permanence, spells we control, cast one one more to cast, or lose one life for each creature we control. Okay, so we can win life pretty easily with this deck. All right, so Davriel, not too good. Not too good here. Opponent has a sign in blood. That's basically a draw two for six life here. That's it. Draw two for six. Well, they are killing themselves. I think they can attack with the revealing I killed Avriel. We're going to sack the Thopter. That I won't be able to block, but that's again. We are going to untap with Shiodren and Obliterator from the looks. From the looks of what's going on right now. And they are exactly at 12 and we have 13. Ooh, painful bond. Painful bond, draw two. Hive is cool, and Invoke as well. So we can Dark Ritual, lose a life, Invoke Despair, you will Sack, lose a couple life. Here we go, draw another card, draw another card, gain four, and then we go to attacks, attack with a seven five trample and a six five. Ooh, we destroy them, and now we, they die to shield or tri trigger. Yes! Wow, this deck is good. This will be our last round playing with the shield red, the apocalypse. Once again versus Stairgrid. Seriously? All right, so opponent goes first. This hand is not very good, but I'm just going to keep it. We have three lands. Can go into key to the archive. We have a... Combo piece in Eldritch Pact. We need to mill them out for a bit or make them fill their graveyard. Opponent with a Transmogrant. We will go Maze Mind Tome, pass the turn. Karn Silex could be good here. Gigs, all right. Well, our luck is running out. Another land is great. Then we could play Sheol Red, but versus Mono Red, Mono black maybe what we are supposed to do here is to pass them in the mana situation and try to win from being able to cast more spells on them 
I don't think there is another way in which we can catch up. Because they are going to outdraw us. Time warp. Well, Doomblade is a whiff. Let's take the time warp. Discard these. So they're going to draw many, many cards. And we have much more mana than them. We'll see what's the result of these. Okay. And hit for six. They draw two. Lose two. Who that they don't have a way to accelerate their mana too much. Well, there's something. And the curtains. Alright, so we should be looking at this Karn Silex with a little bit of love. That's something that we can play right now, threatening to activate it next turn. Could also take an extra turn. We cannot do any everything. We have seven mana. Yeah, just seven mana is not enough. So we could maybe go Karn Silex. And probably here destroying the concealing curtains makes sense. Because if we play this, then we blow it up with the corn silex and uh, do we have to use the thirst? Because the thirst takes our time warp. Yeah. This is so awkward. I don't want to run anything else. Maybe we could play Shieldred. Yikes. Um Let's destroy the concealing court curtains. see what they play here because if they play Turgrid then we have to blow up everything basically can take an extra turn I don't know if that's going to help us and hit again for six we draw two lose two you gotta think that they have a removal spell in hand so playing shield right there is seriously it's a uh, no win scenario for us. Key to the Archive. For sure, they are playing their Key to the Archive because they are loaded with removal spells, but no target for those. So, a way to win here is to maybe blow up their board and get to a point in which we can double spell, play Shieldred, and maybe <laughs> with Cabal Stronghold, maybe we can make 13 mana and Shieldred plus Eldritch Pact. Can take the extra turn, we can blow up everything. If we let them untap with all these, we are also going to die because we are at 10 and they can attack us for 8 with the Guardian Idol. Yeah, that's not good either. We have to use the Silex. So we tap for mana. Tap here. Activate Silex for four. Let's. This is going to use our blue mana, right? We don't want that to happen. The blue mana is for time warp, so maybe we use time warp like this. Resolves. You get an extra turn, and then we blow up everything but th for three. So we untap with key to the archive. We destroy all their creatures. This is the only way to play the time warp, so... Destroy their creatures and their guardian idol. We lose the mind zone. But now we untap. And... Well, Infernal Grasp is good. That can deal with... That can deal with... Turgrid later, and we double up with Underworld Dreams. If for some miracle they don't destroy our board, the next turn Eldritch Pact could make it. Alright, just a scrounger. Can they whiff on removal spells? That would be too weird. So weird. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course they have the removal spell. Okay, they take one, go to 19. We also need them to fill their yard. Because Eldritch Pact works with creature um which car with, with cards in their graveyard. Yeah, maybe it was a mistake to play the shield red because he was surely going to die. 
But if we don't play it, then we also die because they have this Crouncher, we don't have any blocks. Now Tiny Bones, ah, Thoughtseize, they can take the Eldritch Pack. So, okay, okay, we were going to lose this game regardless of what we did. Opponent drew very well, Black Market freaking connections. We'll kill ourselves and can just play a shield red and don't do anything else because we don't have enough mana i don't know i don't know nothing else that we can do here basically so now they can remove shield red they lose three this was closer than it looks because if we untapped with what we had could have killed them but it doesn't look like this is going to work. We're going to... Even the score with Turgrid. We destroyed her last game and now we're getting... Our ass is handed to us. Turgrid's Lantern. We have to discard a card. Discard Black Market Freaking Connections. Wow, oh, they drew so many cards. They are at 10. There's a... There's a parallel universe in which we killed them there's nothing to be done nothing to be done maybe we have one more turn if they don't activate hive of the eye tyrant and attack us to death but they can activate lantern and i think liliana also kills us sure we will discard a card Oh, Infernal Grasp also kills us, because we have to spend two, two life. Well, they didn't go for the lethal attack. We lose two here, go to one. We are holding, maybe we can nine them with some random card in our deck that I don't know. And Liliana kills us. Oh, they had it. All right, good game. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed Shieldred from the Competitive Historic Pro League from Jordi. This has been a great deck and a fun one. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. We will see each other on a following video.